Hello, 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 hi. Hi. My name is Shruti Gatwa. My name is Kido William Sterling. And we are from Sex Education. Yeah, yeah. And we are going to play... Between Two Faves. <laughs> ...for Strong Black Leads. Yeah. Only on Netflix. Only on Netflix. Come on, come on, come on. Who is your celebrity crush? You. Easy. Your character in Sex Education deals with a lot of mental health issues. We don't normally see that portrayed by black men on screen. Mm -hmm. How was that process for you? Um, it was good. It was refreshing. Mm -hmm. um, it was challenging. I think, you know, when you think about Jackson as a character on paper, he, he was actually white. Mm. Um, he wasn't written as a black guy. So even in the process of auditioning, it was a, a thing of being in a space that necessarily wasn't written for me. Mm. Um, so from the get-go, I was thinking of like, okay, I'm, I'm in this space now. Mm. Let's see what this is like. So exploring his whole journey is something that I feel is really healthy to witness mm -hmm. on such a platform because you know you have masculinity and then you have black masculinity you mm -hmm. have feminism and you have black feminism they're two mm -hmm. different things mm -hmm. you know so yeah it's great it's really interesting to play and I think being in that space I've, I'm just humbled by it because mm -hmm. I think it's not necessarily spoken about mm -hmm. in the in the mm -hmm. story mm -hmm. but just being in that space, you're it seeing exists. it. Exactly, you're yeah. seeing it. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm black and I'm doing yeah. this. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because I'm doing it anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not yeah. written, like some, someone, one of the characters being like, oh, this black guy is da 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 da. Do you know what I mean? Just to be doing it. Mm. It's kind of more powerful. It, I think so. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because it just shows life for what life is. Mm. Like even when I think about Jackson's parents in the show, there's not a big song and dance about the fact that you've got two queer parents. Exactly. It's just like, you, you just have two queer parents. Sex Ed does that well. Mm. I feel like we've just kind of like showing this is just what life is like. I think it's just su it's such a good character for I think young <clears throat> black boys to see. Like the yeah. fact that you're a headboard, the fact that you're good at school, the fact that you're like an athletic champion and like there's all these positive things surrounding you. I just think it's such clever representation. If you had to pick one song to listen to for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh! Either FKA Twigs, Two Weeks, or Africa by Toto. Being a teenager is full of awkward and weird moments. In which ways was teenage Shooty most like your character, Eric? And in which ways are you different? Eric, I know, like, he feels definitely very isolated. He knows that a lot of people around him don't understand him. I think they, they struggle to understand him. Mm. And because he knows who he is as well, I think there's a lot more confusion around him, mm. which isolates him as well. I knew who I was. I was like, it's you people that seem to not understand, <laughs> <laughs> that seem to not understand it. I, I understand it very well. <laughs> and so I definitely felt like I definitely could relate to his, his, his feelings of isolation. Also, grew up in church, man. Mm. Eric is in that church. I'm gonna say that. Me and my mum had lots of conversations about like just. I don't think at the time of me growing up in Scotland, my mum quite appreciated how tricky it was balancing two cultures, like balancing mm. my home life and balancing my school life and my social life. Like being a Rwandan boy in the house and a Scottish bampo yeah. <laughs> outside. Like it, they were two worlds that I had to make work together. And I think like. You see that with, with with Eric as well, like the, the two faces that he has to play when he's at home and when he's outside. And so me and my mama had lots of conversations about like that sure. dynamic. Um, yeah, also I'm Rwandan, I'm African, Eric is African. There's similarities. <laughs> you cannot bully me in the same way that you bully Eric. If, <laughs> if you <laughs> try and push me into a locker and take my lunch oh <laughs> things are not gonna end well for you they're not gonna end well what do you think is the biggest misconception about the uk or people from the uk we don't all live in central london that yeah that, that for yeah. example yeah we don't all live in yeah. london like, we don't no. all live in london you <laughs> know example. oh it's not all either like oh we talk like this or we talk like that yeah, it's not yeah. there's many accents straight do you know what the thing is is that when you when you leave the uk you realize how many mis like many stereotypes are true. I do really enjoy cups of tea. Oh yeah, like tea, I, vital, tea right? can really change change your day, change your mood. Other countries think that we queue too much or we're too polite about our queuing. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I like a queue. Being polite in general, not just being polite. Yeah, I like queue. being polite. <laughs> That's not a queue, bro. A queue uh, is in the same umbrella. Who's your biggest inspiration and why? 
My biggest inspiration is my mom. Mom. Yeah. yeah I knew you were going to do that. Because <laughs> she's my mom, isn't it? Of course. She's like the person that raised me. She's amazing in every way. Yeah, man. She's a force. <laughs> Come <laughs> and a on. a beautiful being. Who's your biggest inspiration? My mom. Yeah, you know that. My mom. Who else? Who else could it be? You know what like, I mean? there's no one else on this planet that it could be. It's got to be your mom. Exactly. They're warriors. Yes. Be nice to your mum. Tune in to Sex Education, streaming on Netflix. Get ready for it. Come on.